Another statistic commonly used in uh, diversification or to determine diversification is known as the beta statistic. And beta is actually a measure of what we call systematic risk. And systematic risk is risk that affects all assets. So in the stock market, for instance, if you own stock and you see that the market goes down 400 points, basically all stocks go down because the market went down. On the other hand, if the market goes up 500 points, all stocks tend to go up. Market risk is a common example of systematic risk. And often in investment uh, kinds of literature, you'll see the beta statistic. And somewhere in there, it'll tell you something like one equals the market with beta. What that means now is that one is the decimal equivalent of 100%. So if you have an asset with a beta of one, that means that asset is taking on the same risk as the market. It has the same volatility as the market. And if you're taking on the same risk, then you'd require the same return. So if, you're, if you had a stock with a beta of one, you would, you would expect to earn 100% of the market's return. If you had a stock with a beta of 1.2, that means you're taking on 120% of the risk of the market, and you would also like what? 120% of the market's return. That's beta, that's how you interpret it. And we'll talk about more about that in just a second here. Now the beta statistic itself, the way you calculate beta, the formula for beta, beta is defined as the covariance between the stock and the market divided by the variance of the market. That gives you the beta statistic. As we just discussed, if you had a, a stock, if you were beginning the year, and your portfolio, your stock had a beta of one, and over the course of the year, the market went up 10%, well, again, you're taking on 100% of the risk of the market. You want what? 100% of the market return, which would be this expected return out here, which would also be 10%. And you should note that if you take beta and you multiply it by the return of the market, you get the expected return. So if I'm taking on 120% of the risk of the market and the market goes up 10%, what return do I expect my asset to give me? A 12% return. If my asset, my portfolio has a beta of 0.8, I'm only taking on 80% of the risk of the market. So if the market goes up 10%, I only expect to earn 80% of that return because I'm only taking on 80% of the market's risk. I should expect a return of 8%. If I have a beta less than one, it's called a defensive beta. The reason you buy defensive betas is because you're kind of worried about the market maybe going down. And if, the, if I'm taking on an asset with a beta of 0.8 and the market goes down 10%, my asset's only going to go down 8%. So defensive means that in a down market, how do you beat the market? You lose less. And that's a good reason to have defensive stocks in your portfolio. You lose less if the market goes down. And this is, this is an introduction to beta and how you calculate it and how you should interpret it uh, when you look at betas for assets or stocks or whatever you're looking at.